right, what's up, Dragon Brood? And oh, yeah, I have purple lights today. I'm probably going to be messing around with different lights since I got my new lights in, but there'll be some cool stuff coming along with those down the road. However, today we're going to be taking a look at Boros Magecraft. And I think this is the third Magecraft deck we've taken a look at recently, but mostly because of a card I really have been wanting to squeeze into a deck, and that's Ancestral Anger. I like the trample aspect of this and being able to draw a card, which is pretty sweet, and we'll see if that's enough to help this deck get over the hump. But for now, let's go take a look at what Boros Magecraft looks like for current standard. If you want to support the channel, remember to check out shop.ultrapro.com slash PowerDragon and use promo code PowerDragon. You'll save 5% on everything you order over there at UltraPro, and that includes all the new sweet stuff from their Lemon Yellow collection this month. All right, don't forget two quick things. One, if you want to support the channel, be sure to check out that join button in lieu of us having a Patreon. It's a really good way to support me and we get a decent cut here on YouTube. However, I also wanna say when you watch this video, the first couple of games, maybe two or three, we actually have a slightly different list with three or four cards difference. The games were just going so quick, I decided I would include a lot of them anyway, cause it's just really fun. This deck is super fast and that shouldn't be a surprise to anybody. Now, what we're gonna be going with here is Four Boon of Safety off the top. And this, when the initial list, I think I only had a couple, but I ended up adding a couple more just because this card is super good against a lot of things. So we can't really be without this. And it is a cheap one mana thing at an instant that lets us play a spell, which is a big deal. L Clever Lubromancer, no surprise. We're playing Magecraft, we're playing this card. Three Guiding Voice, a little bit unfortunate that I couldn't squeeze a fourth one in here, but we kind of had to make room because we're playing stuff like Boon of Safety and whatnot. We are playing for Homestead Courage, because this card's probably the best white one mana thing we can play in this deck. And then Ancestral Anger. So Ancestral Anger is one mana, one red. It is a sorcery, unfortunately. Be great if it was uh, instant. Target creature gains trample, and you get plus X plus zero until end of turn, where X is one plus the number of these in your graveyard. So the first one's going to be one, second one's going to be two, on and on. But you do get to draw a card, and that's one of the things this deck tends to miss sometimes. We don't have a lot of ways to refuel our hands, so being able to draw a card is actually really nice here, honestly. Just a nice little added bonus on top of everything, which we don't hate at all. So yeah, we're going to love this. We are only playing three. I will talk about this at the end of the video. We might actually want a fourth, but there's some other cards we're experimenting with that we want to take a look at. Then we have, of course, Illuminator Virtuoso, because while well, you get to put a ton of counters on it, of course, makes it awesome. Then Leonin Lightscribe, because this is the other key part to the Magecraft list. If you're going to be doing it, you're going to be playing this. And then Luminarch Aspirant. And as much as I like the Aspirant, I will say, I did debate if this should maybe be like Monk of the Open Hand, since we're playing multiple spells in a turn, or maybe being the 1-1 uh, the First Striker with whatever we call the ability to like get something out of the grave or play it out of the graveyard as a spirit. So maybe, but for now we're going with Luminarch Aspirant just because it adds enough value to our double strikers and whatnot to really be a nuisance for our opponent. Then to Shajiri Shelter, because not only does Shajiri Shelter protect our creatures, it also is very good at letting you just punch through, right? Because they won't be able to block. And if you have a double striker that even has just three counters on it or something, sometimes that's enough to finish the game. So really, really like this. And it doubles as mana, which we also appreciate. Then we have two show of confidence, just because if we're stacking up spells, this is just another way to get us extra bonuses and end things. And then we have two antagonize. Now, this is a card you've seen me play in some of these other red or mono red or red white lists. I actually really like this card. It's plus four, plus three. You can use it on offense. You can use it on defense. And in this deck, it also gives you a bonus as playing another spell. So lots of cool stuff it does for us. I don't know if it's good enough, though, in this list because it's not like... I feel like this is a type of card that oftentimes, if we're winning, it's already good. Or if we already have a clear path. I don't know how much it changes things. So we'll talk about that again. There's some things we want to discover in these games that we'll figure out at the end of the video, obviously. And then we have four Lizard Blades, Double Striker. The other thing about Lizard Blade 2 is if you don't have a way to win, you can just reconfigure this onto something else and then at least have that left over after the board gets swept or something. So it, it does have some extra value here. Then we have four, actually, I just say four, nine planes. I was just looking at four Lizard Blades. Nine planes, six mountains, one Fury Calm Snarl, and four Needle Verge Pathway. So this isn't a surprise. We're very simple. We don't want a ton of lands that come into play tapped because we want to be able to play as many things on time as we can. So yeah, that's the deck. 
And like I said, we're going to try it. There's a lot of things we want to learn as we play the games. Like, how do we feel about ancestral anger? Do we need more Shajiri shelter? Do we need antagonize or not? Right? So these things are we're going to be watching for in the games. Enjoy the games. They're crazy fast. And at the end of the video, I would say go to the end of the video after you watch some games for sure. Make sure you, you check that out before you leave because we are going to be talking about how we're going to update this list. But for now, have fun. We'll catch you on the other side. All right. We got a singular creature, but it is a creature. So, you know, we can't complain too much. Let's keep it. Hopefully we find some cheaper things we can roll out because I don't want to put out uh, this just with no protection. Yeah, Lunar Frenzy's neat, but I think it's the wrong card. I like that it gives us Trample, but I just don't think it's enough. Yeah. I don't I don't think it's enough. I think those need to be Lunar Aspirants also. Wow, opponent's just tacking us with that. That tells us how bad off we are right now. Um I mean, I guess so. Arena, we would like to not do that. Uh, we'll discard one of these. All right. I mean, they may as well, might just bounce our Virtuoso or something here, but we'll see. What's crazy, though, like, think about this. Like, if the opponent were to... Well, if they don't have a response, like, could we just... Oh, maybe. Could we just win here? Because we could... Courage? Anger? Show of confidence if they let it through? I don't think they will. I think we have to leave mana up to protect this with Shajiri Shelter. Anything else I think is getting too greedy. Oh, boy. Um, crap. All right. You got to go, friend. And then Anger. Draw a card. Ooh, we could discard the other Anger. Since we already have Lunar Frenzy. But, I mean, if we're going to do that, I guess we just discard the Lunar Frenzy, right? Yeah, okay. I mean... Seven, that's 14. We can make it 15. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm afraid. I want to go for it, but I don't know if I can. Because uh, this would give it another plus two, plus three. No guts, no glory. We're gambling. Let's see if they got it. If they got something, they got something. Sure. Was that it? <laughs> they just GG'd us. Okay, I don't know what they had. Like, might be one of the best two mana creatures White's probably ever had. Uh, okay, we get to go first. I mean, I, I guess we have to keep it. Maybe we'll find something else to play here next turn. Though there's also sometimes you, your Virtuoso has to take a hit, has to pay the price so that some of your other stuff can live. All right. I mean, I'm kind of going to Virtuoso just to draw a card with the anger, I think. Yeah, not a lot we can do here. I assume Virtuoso is going to die, but such is life. Um, Man, I really would like to grow this, but we just can't afford to. Yeah, that sucks. Need a creature. Had two lands on top. That's rough. I mean, we're finding plenty of mana, though, so maybe I need to cut another land. Maybe that's the issue. All right. Just so you know, I'm not blocking. If you don't have lands, I'm not giving you treasure. 
maybe we'll get lucky and you don't kill our virtuoso. <gasps> they didn't. Oh, man. Um, all right. So we can make this a four plus one is. So it's five. Make it six. We can play this and make it seven, eight. Ah, uh, that's not going to be enough. Though, uh, we could make it seven if we drew a land. We could then play Fury Calm Snarl, untapped. All right, so we one of these connives probably ends up being... We need one of them to be a land, even though we just discarded a land, obviously. Um, yeah. I don't think we can play that yet. Let's do this, because this gets us another card, so it increases the odds we can find a land. Oh my gosh, how did we miss? How did we miss? Oh, that sucks. Uh, well... I mean, do we just get in for 12? I mean, I can make it 13. Man, what if our next card would have been a land and I shouldn't have played that Fury Calm Snarl? Because I could have made it 14, 15, yes. Still wouldn't have been enough. All right. This is all we can do. I say all, like, you know, that wasn't enough. But we're probably going to lose this to a binding now. Oh, come on. I know this is dying. There's nothing I can do about it either. Actually, it's not true. If they only deal four to it, I can actually play this as an instant and then connive it for one more point. So we might get away with it, depending on what they do. If it's just an outright kill spell, then nothing happens. Okay, that's not bad. We can still first strike trample past that. So that's actually okay for us. Boon of safeties, nice bonus action. So let's go with this. Yeah, that's it if we do this. Yeah, just for zero. Uh, dis we'll hold on to that, I guess. Discard this. Uh -huh. And then just do this. Uh, discard one of them. And then we'll just play this. Yeah, that's cute. Um, yeah, sure. And then uh, Virtuoso gets in there for all the damages. Yep. Okay, I guess that's just how we're going to win. All right, let's keep it. Decline. Would have been nice to have something there early, but, you know, is what it is. All right, so the question now is, do we just play Lizard Blades or do we go for Light Scribe? I think we're going to play Lizard Blades. Mostly because follow-up with Light Scribe means we get to attack for way more damage. If it even lives. That's kind of the other half of the equation. Oh, Giada. All right. Well, Giada, we are not a fan of yours, in case you were wondering, which you probably weren't. Uh, let's get probably this. Keep the silly angels off our back. All right. Though, you know... Okay, Portable Hole, probably going to get... Yeah, exactly. Lizard Blade's the only thing that makes sense. Then play something. Yep. Oh, not good. Not good. Hmm. All right. Let's just do this. And we're going to attack. Oh, don't block, opponent. Don't block. I was going to say, you don't want to do that. 
All right, we're going to take a pile of damage in the air. How big is the angel we got to deal with here? Because I assume it's going to be real big. Ah, that sucks. Yeah. That is a good hit for the opponent. Real bad for us. And they had more angel action. Wow. All right, we're dead. Yeah, that's just not going to cut it. Yeah, we're not going to get through doing nearly enough. I mean, it's kind of all we can do, but... I mean, do we just turn Giada into a 3-2 here? Ah, that feels so gross. Especially when they probably just have another one, but, like, what are we going to do? Oh, no, no. I actually don't like Mono White Angels right now as a deck. Like, it's beating this draw because my draw sucked. But, like, even when I've been testing and stuff, I have not been a fan of the deck. Not even a little bit. Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess we keep it. I'm actually not going to play the Lumomancer yet because I have Buna Safety as a backup so we can wait. No need to be in a big hurry here. And we just pass. Celestis. All right. Well, we're probably just going to be trying to dodge sweepers now, unfortunately. Oh, man. We have not had a good time drawing either creature, equal number of creatures and or spells. We've drawn one half or the other, which is not good. Uh, all right. Let's at least do this. Mm. I'm just debating if I want to put the other counter on this now. I think we do. I mean, if they have a blue to bounce it or something, like, I don't know. <laughs> like, what else are we going to do with this? All right, opponent takes six. Now, this is good because if they decide to, like, meat hook here, we can actually plus this two more. So, they'd have to meat hook for five. They do actually have blue mana, so maybe they do have a fading hope. That's good information to know. All right. What's happening here? I guess we're going to have to really hold on to this Tajiri shelter. I don't love that, but I think we have to. I wonder if I need to play Buna Safety now so I can scry and see if maybe we could find something else because the land we put on top because like we have a backup Buna Safety anyway. I think I'm willing to do that. I mean, if the opponent wants to do something about it, then we'll try to protect with Shajiri Shelter. Yep, I knew there was a chance something like that was coming. All right. Uh, resolve have to call black. All right. Ah, oh, well, we have to draw that. That's yeah. <laughs> I was hoping it'd be something a little bit more exciting, but uh, that's that's actually pretty pretty important. All right. Opponents at 10. I mean, we can maybe find a way, depending on what's on top. Like, we, we maybe could find something. Now, the good news is now, spot removal doesn't kill us. So they have to do something else here. Bounce spell is our nemesis. And like I said, they might try to meat hook here. Nope, they're just going to pass. Okay. Well, then I don't think we can do anything. Well, I don't know. Maybe we just play the Virtuoso just because. 
Oh, that's a good card too. Oh, is this enough? One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's seven, eight. Nine, ten. God, we're going to be one short. Uh, yeah, because this only gets us six. Hmm. I kind of want to just play the Virtuoso instead here if we're going to do that. Damn, that hurts. I'm not going to lie, that, that hurts. Oh, man. All right, I guess all we can do is attack for two. Man, th this hurts. <laughs> that, that, that hurts my soul to just attack for two there. Y'all have no idea. Um, the bad part here is we really can't even use, like, Virtuoso plus this because if we draw something we want, we got to get rid of the one thing that could protect the Virtuoso. So that's actually pretty bad. I mean, I guess we just play the Virtuoso straight up. And if they kill it, they kill it. I mean, I think that's just where we are. Yep. We gotta do something. And here's the other downside, right? Let's assume we think they do have Meat Hook. We actually can't use our Boona safety. Well... Okay, they ended up just untapping there, so that's actually all right. Now they can meet hook for four? Hmm. How are we going to try to get out of this mess? Now, this giving some, the Luminar or the Lumamancer double strike is pretty nice, but not likely to be a thing. And they have a ton of mana and five cards, so anything can happen here. Ooh. That's nice. All right. Actually, do we go with Lizard Blades? Because we're less likely to actually even cast this. Nah, nah, let's just do this. Let's see how the opponent feels about this. I mean, because again, they just have like Fading Hope. We're probably doomed. So I'm going to go ahead and start. I'm going to use one of the Homestead Courages on the Lumamancer, I think. Because that'll bring that up to six, seven, eight, nine. So that, yeah, that'd be enough. And then just try to rely on Boon of Safety. So they have to have two bounce spells because just a kill spell won't do anything. All right, we're going to try. Shield up. So now you likely can only stop one of these, and the other one is lethal, I think. Depending. Like I said, it could be another spot removal plus Fading Hope or something. That means you did everything right, and you're going to get a win. They're just letting you savor that win just a little bit longer. Okay. Yep. And then we get to do lots many damages. All right. Whew. Okay. Okay, we don't mind this. Let's let's keep it. I really want to try to protect this, but I also kind of want to just play it, so let's do it. All right, didn't kill it. We like that. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. 
And I will go snag this to be able to get a land. And we'll just attack. Now there's also the chance we can just draw a land. And if we do, if it's untapped, we'll just play Lean and Light Scribe. And then we'll just try to protect something with a Boon of Safety. Topiary Stomper. Alright, well we'll get a little bit of a reprieve, I guess, to try to bust through. Man, this is going to be really, really tight. Alright, we did get a land. And it was the off color, so that's nice. Um, it is so tempting to gamble here. And I probably should be just trying to get as much damage in as we can. But I'm going to wait. Mostly because maybe, maybe we get another untapped land. Then we have double light scribe and then we can do two of these or something. And that would be a lot of damage with just a topiary stomp. Well, now they have another thing on the other side. So that changes stuff a little bit. Ooh, that sucks. That doesn't protect us here. Really? They're not going after our light scribe. That's something that's interesting to note. I mean, I guess we just do this? We'll attack? I mean, this is a terrible attack, but, like, I mean, what else are we going to do? All right, opponent's just letting us have that. I guess I'm just going to assume this is just another uh, exile creature thing more than anything else. And now I'm thinking I kind of want to boon a safety here and either light scribe. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, they got us. We're not going to be able to do anything with this. All right, we're dead. Okay, let's keep it. Kind of get to have a little bit of fun, maybe, if we're lucky, with the uh, Light Scribe on coming turns. I think we're just going to Aspirant to put a counter on the Lumomancer. All right. Gala greeters. Okay. Nobody died. That's good. We'll put a counter here. Attack. Okay. Fable, sure. Build up a pile of treasures here. See what they want to do. Oh boy, okay. Guess before we do that, let's go ahead and put... Where do we want to put this? Oh, the Luminar Casperant? Oh, well, that don't suck, does it? Hmm. Can we get enough damage in here? That's my next question. Maybe the answer is no? I mean, I guess we attack with all of it, right? Because really, I probably should have put it on the light scribe because if they double blocked. But I mean, we play a spell either way. So, sure. Make this protection from. I don't even know. Um, it just doesn't matter. We'll just say red. Oh, I didn't realize. I forgot we had Trample. We could have killed them. Oh, no. If we lose now, that was just a dumb mistake. I totally miscalculated that. I thought we were going to be an extra one short. I didn't even think... Oh, we would have had more anyway, because we had plus two from the Lumomancer. So we would have had two more than what we needed. 
Oh, that is just dumb. Yeah, I deserve to die. Good news is we're protected from a meat hook from two, so we should survive most things here. Yep. We will go ahead and do this. Give this a shield. Scry that. And that should do it. All right, let's rock and roll with this. See what we can do. This is not stellar, but I also kind of don't hate it. So we'll see what's up. That is pretty nice. Um, I think I'm just going to do this, y'all. Hope they don't deal with our stuff. This is our, our working game plan. Please don't exile our virtuoso. Oh, they have a virtuoso. Wait up. That's not what we wanted to see. Um, okay. That's not helping. All right. And I think we just attack here. All right. Opponent's going to probably do a lot more damage than we are here, but... I mean, they're already at 12. We can play a chump blocking Aspirant, though they're playing green, so they probably have all the trampling things, which is not good for us. Jukai Naturalist. What? I did not... Oh, I get it. So now you're going to go ahead and play a rune, right? Yep. I see what you're doing. All right. That's a weird but interesting addition. I can respect that. All right. Well, we might just die next turn to that. Pretty sure we are going to die to that next turn. Well, man, if I would have had that other land on red, boy, could we have done some things. Um, actually, I guess it wouldn't matter because we'd have to do this first. Uh, let's see. What can we get this up to? We can go that, that, so that's three. Yeah, we still need a red land for that to be useful at all. All right, we'll see if gaining two life matters here. Likely doesn't, but what are we going to do? Um. Boy, this is tough. All right. I'm just trying to create some situation where we can try to go off next turn. They have to chump block here, though, at least. So it slows them down somewhat. And they don't gain the life. Oh, yeah, they're just dead. Weird. Okay. This is just an example of what happens whenever you play new cards. Because I totally forgot that this gives the trample along with us having double strikes. So the opponent actually didn't really have an out there. Like, the best thing they could have done would have been to block here. And I believe they were at 12, so they would have went to 14, and then this would have dealt 10, and they would have been at 4. And then we just see what happens after that, right? But they would have been in bad shape anyway because we had the Ancestral Anger that we could have actually played Courage, Courage, Ancestral. So even if this is the only thing alive, this would have still trampled for enough. So we were probably still good there. It just looked really ugly. All right, let's keep it. Let's go. Let's see what this is going to turn into next. Florahedron. We don't like florahedrons. Those are generally bad for our health. Let's play this. Put this on white. Even though we have a lot of red cards, I'm aware, but... I want to be able to keep some pressure up. Allows us to still play like Lizard Blades next turn plus Homestead Courage. We want to hold on to the Ancestral Anger till we get a kill turn because it allows us to trample. Especially if we end up getting a Double Striker to live. That would be awesome. So, oh, that's not bad either though. 
Huh. Having a shelter here. Does that change anything? Probably not. All right. I'm going to assume no. I can't convince myself that it changes things enough, so let's do this. All right. Now we do want an untapped red land. Yeah, Yasharn. Cool. You got a Yasharn. That is what it is. Ooh, can we do enough? Is this lethal action? We can make this a five and make it protection from green. Yep, that'll do, I think, unless they've got something here. And then, yeah, we just give this protection from green. Probably should have said white since I had a white land open, but it didn't matter. All right, this seems mostly fine. Let's keep it. Hello, opponent. Constantinius. That seems like a very, like, awesome Greek name. This could be one of, like, every time I see these, like, fetch lands, I never know what type of deck we're up against. And it always makes me feel weird. We have no spells on hand, by the way. So, I mean, I guess we just lizard blades and hope. But we're just setting up a bunch of stuff to die here, really, is all we're doing, right? Yeah, I think we still just lizard blades pass. Assume that we're going to lose a bunch of things here. Yep, that makes sense. No blocks. We're not in that business. Uh, This is kind of ugly, right? If we just stroll this into a meat hook. Kind of feel like we don't have a lot of choices, though. All right. We'll just let them meet hook. If we lose, we lose. We, we kind of got the no spell hand, so it's not like we could really pressure our opponents. All right, I guess that's the good news. I guess there means there won't be a meat hook here. Or who knows? It could be. Maybe it's still going to be meat hook for one. Also, another white land would have helped, too. Would have kind of switched up some options we had for the turn. I mean, yeah, we're still taking three. Ain't nothing we're going to do about it. Bah. All right. I think this is the only thing we can do rationally. If they want to kill it, they can kill it. If they want to kill both of them, they can kill both of them. I mean, what else are we going to do? <laughs> We needed white land real bad. I mean, this is the most we could do with our, our one spell. Hey, if we can get another one of our double spells, though, I mean, we maybe we'd be on the verge of lethal, right? Depending on what the opponent has. All right, cool, cool. Take another hit. What are they sitting on all that mana for? Oh, there you go. I was going to say, like, geez, come on, opponent. Like, what was even happening? Let's go here. Here. I mean, I guess they just have a whole bunch of sweepers as their game plan here. Chariot. All right. Can we do lethal? Now now the question becomes, can we get another spell that's cast? A one mana spell. Ah, uh, that's close. That's close. All right. So if we make this three, four, 
five, six. That would be lethal if made of protection from green. We would need their last card to not be a black removal spell. That's basically what we're saying, right? Because if we do this and do this, that only gets us one, two, three. And then that turns it into a four, five. Actually, wait. One, two, plus one would be three, four, five. That would be six as well. But then we wouldn't be able to play this. All right. Well, here's hoping for the best. Do you got it? I'm hoping this pause is just for them to be able to uh, use their chariot. All right. Oh, antagonize is so good. Why did we not have another land? Antagonize would be so sweet. All right. We're going to attack. And yeah. Here's trying. Come on now. Come on now. Oh, that works too. That's great. That's great, actually. Protection from green. So that's 12. All right. Cool. Woo. Ah. Woo. Ah. Woo. Ah. Okay. I think with this hand, we have to play Tajiri Shelter as a land first. Just so as we kind of progress through the turns here, everything we play, if we were to find an actual spell, <laughs> would be able to do something. Uh, this is likely just going to be a light scribe getting shot for two. It was not a light scribe getting shot for two. What does that mean? I for real don't know what that means that that didn't get shot. That seemed like a gimme. Oh, well, that's why. Well, crap. Uh, if that's the case, then we just have to gamble on them sweeping some stuff because this is just a mill race. Now, they do play a lot of things that'll deal to or sweep the board or whatever. And, like, if they do, they do. We kind of have to just let it happen. Much as we don't want it to. But if they're spending mana killing our stuff, they're not milling us or drawing cards, which is actually to our benefit, obviously. Yeah, the opponent wants to get rid of that. I feel good about our choice of playing that uh, other spell early, though. Ah, do you have a fading hope, opponent? Oh, so they're just like, nah, we're going to kill all this. Yep. <laughs> Let's draw a land. Let's show the opponent something. We did draw a land. Excellent. You obviously did not like us doing all those things, so here you go. And they spent two removal spells last turn. So what do you got now? Big score. All right. That seems reasonable for us. No removal cards. Okay, here we go. We're going to try. Oh, I should have probably kept that mountain in hand, actually. No, Arena, why did you tap? Why did you not leave? Oh, my gosh. What do we keep here? Is this equal to the same amount of damage, actually? Hold on a second. Because, like, if we do this, this gives us two more copies. This targets this for one, two, and then possibly no this is guaranteed all right fine gross but here we go see if arena would have left that other thing open <laughs> it doesn't matter though we got the win wow okay gross i'll take it mm. all right let's do it this is a bad bad gamble we have one creature and we can't even cast, technically two, but we can't even cast one of them. I mean, I guess we can go get a thing to go get land and that could help, but yeah, not good right now. Not good. 
Hopefully we get a little bit of juice out of this Lumamancer for a couple of hits. And that would make life a little bit better. But it's not great. It's not great. We need a lot of weird scenarios for this Lumamancer to live. <laughs> that was not one of them. Oh, well, hold up. That card could be useful. Wait a minute. We might be doing a little bit of something. Uh, we'll definitely go get that. Okay. We may have to slow burn this since we've got a boon of safety up. Well, now they might just exile it with Vanishing Verse. So now the boon of safety doesn't do anything. Well, they did not, though. Okay. Oh, so what the heck do we do here? I mean, oh, man, I wish we had a shelter in hand. Oh, gosh, what is the plan? What is the plan? Yeah, that's just... You know what, though? Here's here's what I think we do. I think we just do this. And then we just make the next turn about protecting lizard blades. I mean, I think that's the plan. We just say, you know what? We accept the Lumamancer's gonna die. And we just try to save a double striker. I mean, it's probably still not gonna work. But, I mean... <laughs> you gotta have some plans better than no plan, you know? And for all we know, that's still a Doomscar over there, which is very likely. But if we think it's a Doomscar, what if we try to bait the opponent into playing it? Right? Let's say we attack. We only get in for one. All right. End the turn. Because if on their turn they do actually Doomscar, we can save... I gotta do math and see which is better. I think it's better to save Lizard Blades. Because we have so much in hand. Especially if we draw an untapped land. If we draw an untapped land, we could just have lethal. Actually, we might anyway. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we still need a land for that. We could... Yeah, we need a land either way. If we get a land, we can have lethal. If we don't, we're gonna struggle. Damn it. They did not have the cards we wanted them to have. That means that's make angels. That's not good. Crap. Well, that didn't work out well at all, team. Not at all. <laughs> that uh, was not what we wanted it to be. Let's see if we get a land here, though. We could still do some big things here, right? Okay, we did get a land. Let's give this plus... Well, actually... Yeah, let's do that. And then we attack. Alright, they're going to let Giada go... Hmm... Hmm. This is trampling right now, too. We already have two spell triggers. This is going to do three spells. So we get three counters. So that's ten minus four is only six. Uh, I think we got to do it, though. I mean, it's the best we got. Oh, it's actually 12 minus 4. So that's actually better for us. I only counted 10 for some reason. I must have miscounted. All right. Well, if it is a sweeper, bad for us. If it's just make angels, we're actually not that bad off. Here comes two angels. Nope, it's a doom scar. All right. 
Well, we knew that was a possibility. Time to start loading up another Lizard Blades. Don't play anything, opponent. You're good. You don't want to do anything else here, right? Ooh. You don't suck. However, we got to leave some mana open here. So let's... Lizard Blades. Guiding Voice. It's going to be a Vanishing Verse. Isn't it? Oh, it wasn't a Vanishing Verse. Oh, okay. I thought it might be. All right. So we want to maximize our spells next turn. Do we want to get a removal card? I feel like we need to take this. As much as I don't want to. Feels like the right thing. Now, if it's just like Infernal Grasp, great. No, it's Vanishing Verse. All right. Well, we knew that was a possibility. Not much you're going to do about it when that happens. Good news is we can keep big, crazy angel shenanigans from going wild. Return two creatures with value, two or less. Hey, guess what they're getting? Yep. All right. I mean, we're pretty much dead, right? Uh, trying to figure out how we get out of this. I can't think of a good way here, but who knows? Opponent's only at five. We do have the ability to give a thing trample, so, like, maybe it's a thing. Okay. Now, if the opponent attacks with everything in the air, leaving back a 7-7. Seven, seven. Okay, we might be able to do... If We, we got to get an untapped land, though. Because then we can get rid of the 7-7, seven, seven, turn it into a 3-3. Three, three. Pump this. That would be three trigger. Okay. Come on. Oh, why? Why? We were so close. We were so close. Bro, oh, man, we were so close. Oh, my gosh. Now, what do we do? What do we do? Is there any way out of this? I mean, I guess we play Anger and hope to draw what we need. We still need to draw a land, right? So, I mean, if the opponent has the right removal cards, we're screwed anyway. Hey, we did it. We did it. I think we can get there now. So, we can kill this. Turn it into a little one. We can play this, make it... That's four. Make this a six, seven... Just trying to make sure. We make it an 8. Oh, we're not going to kill them. They're going to be just short. Oh, crap. I mean, okay, here's what we do then. We attack. See if they block with both or one. Because we can get one more point here. Even if they block with just one. All right. Sure. So yeah, even if we would have had another counter, wouldn't have been enough. Because we could have put two on there. Which, oh, would that have been? No, because it would only put one more. So they would have been at one instead of two. Fair enough. I have the eye tyrant. Get in there. It makes sense. Attack for six, put us down to eight, and then you've got lethal next turn. Yep. Sounds good. <laughs> we knew it was on top, so it's just, how do we want to go about this? Do we... Virtuoso. Actually, we're dead anyway, because those are going to have double strike. Yeah, GG's. We, we were just short of getting what we needed.
Uh, let's do it. Let's do it. This this looks like it can be reasonable. I think our plan... Man, this is tough. We may or may not want this on actually on white. Let's see what other land we draw first. If we even draw a land. Okay, we did. So now it's just, do we want Aspirant or do we want Lizard Blades? I think we go Lizard Blades here. And then we can follow up with Aspirant, Aspirant, uh, with some Homestead Courage action behind it. Assume Lizard Blades is dead. Oh, whoa. Okay, we won't assume Lizard Blades is dead. Guess you know what they say when you assume. Try? Okay. I mean, I'm about it. No, don't have a three damage burn spell. Actually, they could be looking for a fading hope also. That, that would be good defense here. Oh, you can spike field hazard our aspirant. Yep, that makes a lot of sense. Ooh, yeah, opponent's just dead. All right, so as we feared, that well, there was one thing we discovered that we didn't know about. Angels is actually a really tough matchup for this deck. And I wasn't really planning for that. So that's actually a good piece of information to find out from playing these games. The other is that Coincidentally, the cards I want to change actually are very good against Angels. And that's to actually remove the two antagonize. And I know you're thinking, well, if Angels are tough, they have big toughness and whatever, and we could make our creatures bigger, why do we not want to keep antagonize? The reason is we actually want to play Ancestral Anger, because one, it lets us draw another card, but also gives our stuff Trample, and then actually add another Chajiri Shelter, because that's actually very powerful as well, just letting us punch through. So even when they're at like six, eight, 10 life, we can come through with a 4-4 four, or four, 5-5 five, five pumped up that they can't actually block, right? That's the thing we want to be, especially with one of our double strikers. So that's what we're looking to do here, and I think that's going to solve some of our problems. Also, the other Shadiri Shelter will be able to blank some of the removal, especially when those decks are playing stuff like Vanishing Burst or whatever, right? So both those are good. Now, does that mean we cut a land or not to replace something with place that with the Shadiri Shelter? Maybe that might make room for another card. But for sure, we're going to cut the two antagonize. I think also the fact that they're two mana means we can't leave too much mana open because we are already trying to dance around like Shajiri Shelter. Uh, the other thing, the Boon of Shelter, uh, is it Boon of Shelter? I think is the other thing that we're also playing. Boon of Safety. I don't know why I said Boon of Shelter. But like trying to keep those up on the defense already so we can't just have extra mana up. So unfortunately, our trick cards really need to be one mana if they can be and just make the most of it so yeah but i think if you like this deck the new updated version should be even smoother for you now for today's card spotlight we're gonna talk about monastery mentor because monastery mentor is actually a pretty sweet card now it is three mana so it would actually be one of the three mana spells i would play in here partly because every time you play a spell you get another one one monk that also has prowess so this card itself gets bigger whenever you cast a spell, then it makes 1-1s one that get bigger every time you cast a spell. I mean, you could actually play this in this deck as the only creature you have out and build up an army over a couple of turns that probably just end the game on their own, which is actually pretty sweet. Because if you think about it, Magecraft was like the, or Prowess was like the OG Magecraft. That's what I'm trying to say. But this card is not cheap necessarily. If you want to get your hands on these, they are about anywhere between 13 and 15 bucks. But if you're looking for one, could be a really fun addition to the right deck. And as always, if you want this deck list, I'm going to make it available for you and download down below. And you can over come over and hang out in our Discord. You can come by our streams to be part of all the shenanigans while we do our deck building and give some input. And remember, join the channel if you want to get your deck reviewed or featured on the channel. And if you like this deck, I have some other cool aggro stuff I'll post right here. So you can check that out because you'll probably enjoy that too. That's all I have for you for now. We'll see you next time.